Tonight, photos of a decrepit St. Louis Millennium Hotel are getting a lot of attention on Facebook. They were shared by an urban photographer. The major part of the St. Louis skyline, do you remember the revolving restaurant? Yeah, yeah. sure. Well, it has sat vacant for the last nine years. New tonight, our Laura Barczewski is looking into what's in store for this building. Laura. Mike and Ann, consultants and people with connections to the hotel say the Millennium is way too expensive to fix and too expensive to tear down, which means it will likely continue to sit there decaying for years to come. It was once a place so full of life and opportunity. The Millennium Hotel opened in 1968, featuring grand ballrooms and restaurants where many St. Louisans shared important moments. My dad would take me to uh, the baseball writers dinner and um, you get to meet all the baseball players. It was in that ballroom. Steve O'Loughlin, the president of LHM, says this nearly 30 story skyscraper and staple on the St. Louis skyline is the reason his family came to the city. My dad, uh, we was uh, general manager of a Hilton hotel uh, in California, and then he had an opportunity to be GM of Stouffer's. So in 1976, it was originally Stouffer's, and then it had a name change to Clarion, and then to Millennium, and then of course it went dark in 2014. The complex takes up three blocks of South 4th Street and has been empty for almost a decade. Urban photographer Crispy's Adventures captured these pictures over the course of a year, showing the building slowly dying on the inside as mold and mildew take hold. It is my understanding that at one point in time, there was asbestos. Gary Andreas, president of H&H &H Consulting, has fielded requests about the property over the years and says even demolishing it would be costly. The fact that it does have the, the contamination in it and where it's located, you're looking at taking it down piece by piece as opposed to imploding the, the property. So you're looking at just a massive cost just to render the site vacant. O'Loughlin says while it's a shame this icon fell into disrepair, redeveloping this location could really revitalize this area of downtown. I think uh, having a new building, like a multifamily, maybe even some retail restaurants and, and that kind of thing, really piggybacking on some of the success that Ballpark Village has had. It's, it's an amazing location right on the riverfront. Andrea says the vacant hotel owner has no interest in selling it or renovating it, and they apparently have even stopped taking offers, let alone calls from potential buyers. We reached out to the ownership company and did not hear back.